Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fadl and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 13th, 2016. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. It's a wonderful weekend for me and I hope it is for you as well. So, there's a moon in Sagittarius, it scores Mercury. This is not a good day for decisions, especially not long-term ones. Trining the sun, squeeze the zest out of life today. It's a time to put your face in the sun, your feet in the water, feel the grass blades between your fingers, really enjoy life. Later on, from around <coughs> 1800 hours Central European time, that's around uh, noon time, Eastern Standard Time, there's a T-square between Jupiter, Chiron and the Moon. That's a time that we're already more sensitive, that we are already more prone to disappointment. We have very high hopes, we could be too naive, we could be too altruistic and to what Georgia sorry and and we could uh, expect too much and get disappointed either from people or from things and activities that we're doing so don't expect much and that uh, that way you won't be too disappointed just enjoy whatever it is that you have um, there is a trying to Uranus and a little later on hello Georgia you're welcome <laughs> so here's Georgia <laughs> And um, so just a little later on, there's a trying to arrange. It's really helping us to enjoy things off the beaten path, to try new activities, new things, to think outside the box, to bring innovation into our life. So just allow yourself to really uh, um, draw outside the square and not do the usual stuff to, tonight. The moon is void, of course, from around 1900 hours Central European time. That's around... 14.30 Eastern Standard Time, not a good night or afternoon for first beginnings or uh, uh, first dates or new beginnings, I'm sorry. Venus, the planet of relationships, is still squaring Saturn. It's a time that our relationships are challenged, are judged, and it's a time that we need to better understand, um, to, I'm sorry, to understand better what we need to compromise about, what we need to learn to compromise about, and what we should never compromise about. And at the same time, there's an opposition between uh, Neptune and Venus, the plant of our relationships. So on the one hand, there's a square to Saturn making us ultra real, facing reality, and the challenges that reality brings, and then there's an opposition to Neptune. Uh, Saturn, the real, Neptune, the fantastic, the imagined. So Neptune can either make us more naive or unrealistic in our relationships, romantic, and sometimes not realizing who stands in front of us, or Neptune can heighten our anxieties and fears, making us imagine that there's things there that are not really there. So it's about finding balance. It's about understanding that it's not how we're afraid it is or how we would like it to be. It's just the way it is, and we need to deal with it and deal with it better than we have before and upgrade the way we handle ourselves within relationships. So that's it for this Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.